What type of people file for bankruptcy? Hi, I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm an Atlanta area personal bankruptcy attorney. And after 30 years of representing folks in bankruptcy petitions in the Northern District of Georgia, I do see some common features. And you may recognize yourself in some of these descriptions. First of all, just about every one of my bankruptcy clients is an honest, hardworking person who is sitting in my office because of some unexpected event. Uh, typically, it's a job loss. It could be a divorce. It could be an illness. It could be an uninsured event, uh, some sort of a catastrophic loss of a car or house or something where there was no insurance. It could be a situation where somebody co-signed for a relative or a friend and that person did not pay back the debt. I see this a lot in the student loan area where parents will sign for their children's uh, as a parent plus loan or co-sign on a student loan, private student loan, and unfortunately the adult child is not able to earn enough money to pay the debt and the student loan creditor comes after the parents. So typically it's something very, very unexpected. Um, and I will tell you that most of the folks that sit down with me never in a million years thought they'd be filing for bankruptcy or talking to a bankruptcy lawyer. And it's many, many times it's devastating both in a financial sense as well as in a self-worth sense. But I'll also tell you that most of the people that I do represent in bankruptcy, uh, one of the common refrains I hear after the case is over is, I wish I'd done this sooner. I spent a lot of time and worry and effort trying to deal with these debts when there was really no way it was ever going to happen. Sometimes people uh, raid their 401k plans, which is never a good idea, or they borrow from friends or family. Again, not a very good idea to try to stave off the inevitable. But if you are dealing with debt that is just unmanageable, meaning that if you have twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars of debt and you'll just never be able to pay it back. And remember that most of this debt, if it's unsecured credit card debt, the interest rates could be 25, 28 percent. It is mathematically almost going to be impossible to pay that debt off. And if that's the situation, then bankruptcy is something to look at. The other thing I will tell you is that even if you're not sure that bankruptcy is right for you, it's important and it's wise to speak to a bankruptcy lawyer like me to find out, is it even an option? because sometimes it isn't an option. Um, I had a, a case recently where a client I was speaking to and they had uh, some, some property in another state that had been willed to them years ago and that property had a market value of say eighty or ninety thousand dollars and we talked about some ideas about how to deal with that but they can't file this person cannot file bankruptcy right away because of that property uh, it would be lost and this is a family uh, household where the siblings would not be very happy if the trustee came and sold it out from underneath them so um, sometimes bankruptcy is not an option sometimes your income might be too high or your debts don't really fit in with the bankruptcy but it's important to know that because if you know that bankruptcy is not an option, then you can look at some of the alternatives out there, or at least try to figure out some ways to go. If you see that bankruptcy is an option, we can walk through and I can give you literally a, a an example, if I can show you what it would look like, so you can see, yes, if I file bankruptcy, the downside is going to damage my credit, it's going to make it difficult to obtain a house or a car in the next two or three years, but I'm going to get rid of $80,000 of debt. I can walk away from a vehicle lease I can't afford. I can walk away from furniture debt I can't afford. Um, I can deal with the cosign debt that is kind of hanging over my head. So sometimes it, just knowing whether it's an option or not is, is good. But bottom line is, is the people who file bankruptcy are the same people that you see in your neighborhood, at your work site, the same people I see when I'm working out at the gym, or the same people I see uh, on the weekends when I'm socializing with my friends. It can happen to anybody. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It is a financial tool, and it will allow you to uh, get a reset, a restart, a fresh start, uh, and hopefully deal with debt that has become unmanageable, that you can no longer deal with, and uh, give you a chance to to move forward with your life, to prepare for retirement, and to live uh, with some dignity and with some peace of mind. And that's really my, my view what bankruptcy is all about. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube, like it on Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like our Facebook page. I'm putting new things there all the time. And if you have any questions about personal bankruptcy, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm at 770-393-4985 or my email, direct email is Ginsburg, my last name, at gmail.com. Uh, until next time, thank you very much. Hi, this is Jonathan and I hope you found this video helpful. I'd like to invite you to download my free 
Debt Destroyer Survival Kit right now. I've packed my survival kit with answers to the questions I've heard from clients for over 25 years here in the Atlanta area. Inside the survival kit you'll find clear, easy to understand answers to critical topics about how to solve debt problems once and for all, including how do I protect my stuff, my house, car and personal property, if I file for bankruptcy? Are there any legitimate alternatives to bankruptcy? Will I ever get credit again and if so, when? What mistakes must I avoid to get the most benefit out of bankruptcy? You can claim your copy right now by visiting my Atlanta-Bankruptcy.com website. And you are always welcome to use the email form on my website to ask me anything about debt and personal bankruptcy in Atlanta. www.atlanta-bankruptcy.com And as always, I wish you the best.